Yeah, the yeah. Nano Zoom 4, I believe. Yeah, the Nano Zoom 4. And we're going to talk I, about the Nanicus. Yeah, talk Actually, about... we'll be talking about the the one who discovered the Denonicus, our uncle, John Ostrom. Yep, we're going to be talking about John Ostrom, our uncle, and uh, showing some pictures and some videos of Uncle John, um, the ones that we can find, <laughs> So, and some of his books. Yeah, I have some books that were signed by my uncle, our uncle John, so I'll show those. All right, so what are we going to look at first? Uh, I guess we can start with, I uh, can share my screen. Okay, cool. Now I can see your screen. Okay. So I have these scanned photos that you scanned last weekend. Let's see. Letting... There's oh, the go. first one. There's, this is our dad. This is our mom. This is Aunt Patty. And this is our Uncle John. Yep. Discovered the Denonicus. This is him when he was young. It looks like close to the same age, same look that he had when he discovered the Denonicus. He's a little bit younger. But... Yeah, a little bit younger. He's probably mid-20s there. Mm -hmm. All right, so look at the next one. Yeah, yeah there's Uncle John. Yep. Uncle, Uncle Bud. Bud. Aunt Patty. Aunt Rosella. Mom and Dad. Yep. Some nice photos. Yeah, nice photos. It's like Hollywood. It's like Hollywood 1950s. Yeah. Mom yeah that's an interesting photo. Because it has friends. mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, granddad and grand BB. Yep. Yeah, what grandma. Is uh, there's Uncle John right here. Yep. Hiding behind the flowers. And then the next few will be similar shots. Of Uncle John hiding behind the flowers. In the background, yep. This one, he's hiding behind the flowers. Now they kiss him. Picture, yep. And now Uncle John has a big smile on his face. <laughs> yep. And uh, I think there's a I few more. And then throw the bouquet. Okay. But I don't think there's any more of Uncle John. Okay. And that's, that's the last one. picture there, so. Yeah, we have more. We'll have to find them, and uh, I'll show those pictures, too. Is that bad? Yeah. Bad. Making a copy of a copy. Yeah, a copy of a... <laughs> well, it looks great. <laughs> yeah. From the 1930s and 40s. Another year? Um, it would be like early 50s yeah, or late 40s. Yeah. But I mean, early 50s because they look like teenagers. Yeah, they look like teenagers, yeah. It might be, yeah. Yeah, either that or late 40s. The trip was 1950, the big trip that they did. So I think this was slightly before that, so this might be like 1948, 1949, I don't know. Probably around the same time. Yeah. That's Peggy. There's Uncle John getting in the car and Dad in the driver's seat. And there's Uncle John again with the camera. They're at a Dinosaur National Park. Um, so yeah, there's Uncle John getting out of the car, and they're looking at the dinosaur exhibits, or they're, they're looking at the dinosaur statues at Dinosaur National Park. Now we're going to look at the books that Uncle John signed for me. Okay. Yeah, I got some really good books. I was looking at them earlier. Now I see both of us. Okay. Our uh, newspaper clipping of 
Dino News. I don't know if I have a copy of that. And inside there's an article on the Deinonychus. Are dinosaurs in your backyard? Cool. You know, there was a really neat one on Jurassic Park. Yeah, and this, no, that's not in this one, right? No, not in that one. It was in a, a, a magazine. Yeah, that was in the magazine. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, that's a good magazine right there. Yeah. Here's the article that Uncle John, um, the Denonicus, Uncle John wrote on the Denonicus and also the Velociraptor in Jurassic Park. Yep. Yeah, I was reading that. It's pretty interesting <laughs> what he had to well, say does about... Say, does he say anything about Velociraptor being similar to Denonicus? Yeah. Yeah, he was talking and about it. how... Michael Crichton uh, used Denonicus for the description, but then right. yeah. decided to call it the Velociraptor since he calls them like near twins, but they're but one's smaller than the other. So like a yeah, Velociraptor is smaller than a Denonicus. Yeah. So the description of a Denonicus fits more of what we see in Jurassic Park and uh, he talks about that. He was a part of the the movie in the background. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Okay, here is the first book that I will show you that has Uncle John's signature to me. And that says, to Matthew Ostrom from Uncle John. Awesome. Yeah. Look at that. This is a book that Uncle John wrote. Yeah, I think I have a copy of that. With, yeah, you have one that he signed for you. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. That that little, yeah, he gives a description of the Denonicus there. And this is the hill where he discovered the Denonicus. Yep. In Montana. In Montana. 1964. Yeah, some good stuff in here. Okay, so now I'll show you the next book. This is another book that Uncle John signed to Matthew Ostrom from Uncle John. This is the cover of the book. Nice. On the inside is where he wrote. Oh yeah, that's cool. I got those stickers too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put the cat sticker on there with my name on it. <laughs> yep. This is gonna have to be flipped around because it's backwards, I think. Yeah, yeah. It shows no, it shows up right on mine. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. It shows backwards on yours, but it shows right on mine. Okay. Now let's see. This one here is another one. Well, it says uh, to to Matthew. I hope you enjoy this, Uncle John. Awesome. Okay. Yep. What's in that book? Oh, yeah. Shows the tree of life right there. Yeah, there's the tree of life. Yep. And the different... Uh, with the, the dinosaur family. Yeah. And the evolution that went through some dinosaurs inside. Here's the Denonicus. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's the Denonicus. And then some, and some other dinosaurs that they have at the Peabody Museum. Yeah. A nice illustration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Here is a book on the Archaeopteryx. That was in Germany, and I also went to the Netherlands to research the Archaeopteryx fossil that was in the Netherlands. Yeah. Famous, well-known magazine uh, from Yale. And uh, has Uncle John on it. This is the cover. And uh, this is a famous photo of Uncle John. And he discovered the Denonicus. The man who saved the dinosaurs. Oh, this is a, oh, uh, and then here's another picture of Uncle John. Yep. That's the Harlem Archaeopteryx fossil right there. Yeah. 
when he that's in uh, Harlem, Netherlands. Yeah, the one in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. which was was that the one renamed uh, Ostromia? Yeah, yeah, that's the Ostromia named after Uncle John. Yeah, uh, he uh, categorized that as uh, Archaeopteryx. Right, his that's what he he. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, yeah, it's an incomplete fossil, so yeah. before they were calling it a uh, parasaur. But then he uh, noticed that there's feather markings on it. If you look really closely, you can see feather markings on it. But then it was recategorized as a subspecies. And they called it Ostromia. Uh, Ostromia after Uncle John. That was just recent. Yeah, that was recently. And this one is another book by John Ostrom and John McIntosh. This one is signed. Uh, it says, well, for mother and dad with much love, John. So this was to John's parents or grandparents. Okay. And there's also a letter in here. That is cool. Yeah, the interesting thing is like, Thinking about like back then when Uncle John was kind of like discovering Denonicus and must yeah. have been an interesting time for him. Yeah. Must have been an interesting time. And then sharing that with his family, with his, his mom and dad and then with right, his, yeah, his grandma and grandpa. Yeah. yeah. He's known as like one of the paleontologists who started the dinosaur renaissance kids learn about dinosaurs today all stem from that time period. That's, and know, they, that's yeah, funny. when they study paleontology, they learn about Uncle John and they're inspired by, by him. And there are so many young paleontologists today that they are excited to, to uh, follow in his footsteps. Mm -hmm. That's but, really neat. And there's a, like, anyone who's learning about dinosaurs, they're learning the facts that he helped prove and that he was fighting for yeah he was life. he was pushing yeah there was a pushback back then they wanted to say the dinosaurs are lizards mm -hmm. and he pushed the night like, no that's that's not what i've been discovering yeah and yeah. it wasn't just like the paleontology field that was pushing against him it was also like um the creationist theories were still pushing against him. His uh, theory of birds evolving from dinosaurs is a branch of evolution, and then it just further proved Darwin's theory of evolution. Birds You're holding on to the religious yeah. belief of creation, the scientists were, yeah. which is kind of interesting because they're scientists that were <laughs> well yeah i wonder how many of the scientists were it's just the culture yeah the, the culture, culture back then yeah and i wonder well, yeah what about the culture today because now it's well known and that's what if you look at any books about dinosaurs they're going to be talking about like how birds evolved from dinosaurs because there's so much evidence of that now with the dinosaurs in china the Microraptor and all of those. We're learning more and we're, we're evolving with our knowledge as we learn about evolution. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting how like John was right all along that whole time that he was looking at Denonicus and comparing it to Archaeopteryx and coming up with his theory of birds and the feathered dinosaurs. And, and then that came about to with the evidence in the late 1990s and then he went to china and i have like news articles and things like that from uncle john that he shared with dad and they ended up at my house so i have to share those here too um the next and the other part of our zoom <laughs> yeah part two of this <laughs> part two of this yeah yeah and then this is uh, one more book that's in my stack of John Ostrom books. And it is a famous 
magazine mm-hmm. that was That's published at um, National Geographic. Yeah, I think I have like a copy of that, and I I actually have two copies of that. Oh, you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somehow I ended up with two of them. I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, here's um. Those are here's... the feathered dinosaurs. I think yeah, it's on the feathered dinosaurs found in China. Oh yeah. Back in 1998. I can't find it. There's a big uh, fold out thing. If you open right to the fold out, it's right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah, so that's the dinosaur they found. And on the other side, it shows the fossil. There you go. Yep. Yep. I forgot the name of it, but then they found like a whole bunch more dinosaurs in China too that had feathers. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. <laughs> yep, that's good. Yep. there because I think we only have a couple minutes here left. Yeah, we're almost done with this. See you later. Bye. Bye.